I am going to challenge the assertion that Bitcoin is king. I'm going to tell you that stocks have gotten so ridiculous. It's time to look at it. It's time to think about DCA. It may even be time to think about a long trading play. If Bitcoin is as stuck as it seems to be. Want to know more? Stick around. Want to see the charts? Don't go anywhere. If you need a roadmap in crypto, subscribe to this channel. Turn on alerts so you know when we're going live. And if the content works for you, please hit the like button. Okay, we are welcoming Andre, who was here early. Yo, yo, he wants 27K Bitcoin. And you know what? He may get it. He may get it. It may, it may be now, it may be in August, but I'm starting to get this feeling that, hey, maybe Bitcoin is a little bit over-owned. Jeff is like, make our bags go to the moon. I, I am working on it, Jeff. I want my people to make money. Harjo is here from the Netherlands. Welcome. Kenneth, good day. Robin, right? Eurorack is here. Okay, Reverend Flashback, everybody, Chanel, the chiropractor. No, I'm the chiropractor and I will straighten you out. Yes, I will straighten you out. Okay, now we got to talk about a few things today and I'm going to, for once, not be guilty of overthinking, not be guilty of overthinking. So let's go through the news first as we welcome you know, somebody checking out the sheepdog, right? Laughing Dolphin, Carlos, Adrian from Germany. Welcome. Ashton, Mindrest. Welcome to the show. Okay, Bull Runner is here. Always appreciate my regulars. Always. Okay, now let's talk about this because it's a meme coin. It, it's, <clears throat> it's, Harry Potter, Obama, et cetera. And I'm looking at it and it looks like people are in every dip. This is not Bitcoin. This is an altcoin, a meme coin. And I'm not noticing that this is bid. Now, my normal response to this is this kind of stuff happens right before the crypto market blows up. That may be true, but it is interesting that after XRP and all the things that RFK said about Bitcoin last night, that they want Harry Potter, Obama. What does that mean for altcoins? You might be surprised. I'm going to tell you in a minute. Meanwhile, the U.S. government can't stop hating crypto. It's me love crypto, right? Uh, a Senate bill wants to regulate DeFi like banks. Gee, uh, I know we had an FTX blow up, but I don't think we had a DeFi blow up. We had a CeFi blow up. And Legacy had a C5 blow up with Silicon Valley Bank and friends. Also, commercial real estate is melting down. I would think these guys would focus on the bigger problems, but that may be the point. They have bigger problems. Their problems are not with us. So good luck stopping DeFi. Right? And I'm going to tell you why. Apple tests Apple GPT. Okay, so let's talk about AI. And the three eyes. There's the innovator. There's the imitator. And then there's the idiot. Okay. So the more people want to develop chat GPT, the more they chase this myopic little tech spot thing, the more I think they're going to miss web three. Because I think smart money is getting long web three, meaning altcoins like Ethereum, right? Big players who you would think would be in a Bitcoin are getting into Ethereum. Meanwhile, the equities world, which as of now, I absolutely hate it. They can rally it in my face if they want, but I don't see anything that they're doing there as sustainable. That may be a threat to crypto in the short term or maybe in August, okay? But if it's not a threat to it now, it's going to give Web3 a bid. 
So, you know, we're going to continue to talk about that. Okay. As I look at this asset managers back Bitcoin, but hold more Ethereum in a coin shares poll. Hmm. Why is everyone holding Ethereum? Well, you can use it for DeFi, art, all kinds of different things. By the way, the supply is shrinking. You know, and I saw this and I'm like, you know what? Maybe it's time to say something different other than Bitcoin is king. Because you know what? If Bitcoin was king, I mean, it will be. But if Bitcoin was king in the short term, it should be at 40K. You're talking about back in the US dollar with Bitcoin. Now, it's not my personal favorite idea, but I can remember a day where if you said something like that, it would just be an explosion. And people thought, you know, the XRP case was the second coming of a prominent religious figure. Seriously. It's like, oh my God, it's the greatest day in crypto. XRP is still below a dollar. Now that may not last. Right. But the fact that Bitcoin didn't go up should tell you something. They're afraid of the Fed. They're afraid of the stock market going down. Or, or maybe I just didn't think of this until this morning. Maybe it's time for an altcoin trade two or three days a week. I don't know. Bitcoin doesn't fall out of bed. Hey, there's people buying Ethereum. You know, this is like the real deal. Okay. Commercial real estate. Everyone knows this. The cover of New York Magazine is highlighting the extent of the debacle uh, and no one cares, <laughs> right? The media reports it. Banks don't go down. Goldman Sachs earnings today. No one cares. It's a disaster, but it's a, like a nothing burger. So maybe, maybe, right? This is eventually going to lead to a, a top in stocks. Right, because no one wants to think about a world where Jerome Powell isn't fighting inflation and tightening anymore. There's a tightening coming up in eight days, and people pro probably justified and worried about what he might say when he steps up to the podium about how serious he is on inflation. But I don't think people have thought about a world where you know equities or commercial real estate go down. Now, if they don't go down, this is the theory. If they don't go down, right? If equities hold up for a couple of months or this distressed real estate thing somehow doesn't manifest, reality will be reflected somewhere. The FU will happen. It will either be with legacy going down or with crypto going up. I'm going to give you some support points, kind of like a mini altcoin overtime. Okay. Ashton is asking, don't you think the Fed is unloading more Silk Road? Yeah, absolutely. Right. A absolutely. The government has to do whatever it is they can to try to hold down crypto. In fact, you know, one of the things that I think RFK Jr. is trying to do is actually start a dollar crisis. Like I, RFK Jr. did not need to make this announcement. Okay. He did not make the need this announcement. Need, blah, 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 blah. He did not need to make this announcement to get the crypto vote. He's trying to bring down the dollar to embarrass the administration. I really would prefer Bitcoin not backing anything involved with the U.S. government because that means Bitcoin effectively becomes, it comes almost like FedCoin where they have to absorb it and they have to keep it, okay? Uh, somebody's not seeing me on the webcam. Hopefully you're seeing me. Are you seeing me? Okay. All right. Pancakes and Peanut Butter says maybe the Senate should worry about their absurd spending and deficit. Yeah, maybe they should. Okay. The point is, RFK made this announcement. Bitcoin should have gone up, but a dollar crisis has started. It has started. Okay. Vitalik wants to make Ethereum store seed phrases as smart contracts and make Ethereum as simple as email. Okay. Now, if Ethereum holds a technical support point that will go over later, altcoins may have their day in the sun, right? Maybe a delayed reaction off XRP. Wouldn't it be funny? It'd be funny if stocks didn't go down, they should, 
But if stocks don't go down and Bitcoin and XRP don't go up a lot, I'm wondering if the other altcoins can go up a lot. I'm wondering, you know, there's always a tricky trade because nobody thought the Harry Potter meme coin was going to go up. And I'm sitting here looking at it going, hmm, I wonder if there's more surprises out there. Okay. Ron DeSantis vows to ban CBDCs. So let's talk about Ron DeSantis. He's the governor of Florida. Okay. He, you know, he is a common sense right wing Republican. So he makes people angry on social issues and happier on economic issues. Let's put it that way. Okay. Um, these guys are already competing for who gets the crypto vote, right? Kennedy's talking about Bitcoin. DeSantis is talking about banning CBDCs. Now, this guy's campaign is probably in a little trouble because all the money is going to Kennedy and Trump, and he's kind of the, the, the guy left in the middle, but they're competing on crypto. Okay, Rave Song Records. He's tired of FOMC fear. Markets doing market things. Bring on RFK Jr. Okay, so let's just briefly talk about the Fed, which is tied into this whole idea of bringing in, you know, let's do some altcoin TA, right? Let's just not say Bitcoin is all that there is because that's not true. Not with this price action, okay? The Fed's going to step up to the microphone. They're going to hike rates, act like everything is okay, talk tough on inflation, and then Jerome Powell is going to go on vacation because they're going to be done. Like he knows this is the last hike. He knows that they're done. And God help us all. If he doesn't do it, that's going to be a signal that something terribly wrong is out there. I have no idea what that would mean for crypto. What I'm assuming is going to happen is everyone's just worried about what he's going to say. He'll say what he needs to, and then we'll carry on after that. You may get a dip in Bitcoin. And if you don't get a dip in Bitcoin, there's going to be a rally in alts. Right. Because if they're taking Harry Potter up, they should be taking other things up as well. And it is very ironic that the stuff people own, like institutions own Bitcoin, didn't go up. Retail owns XRP, went up okay, but XRP should be at 250. And I'm sure XRP Army agrees. So it's at 80 cents going up 3% a day. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of disappointing. I mean, it's not like it's going lower, but. Really? I mean, we'll talk more about XRP later, but don't, don't, don't think the politicians aren't fighting over crypto. Now let's go back to legacy. Okay. They want to tokenize everything. Institutions bet that the future lies in the real world, the future of crypto. So what does legacy know? They know that they don't have any liquidity for their products. They can't sell commercial real estate. The whole market's locked. They can't sell. No one wants to buy. No one wants to sell. People do want to buy, but they want to buy lower. So the whole market is like stagnant. You know, it's, it's being marked down, but it's not trading. And it's the same way with certain housing markets. It's not moving and you can't move venture capital assets. They know they need crypto for liquidity, right? Which means now, what I got out of this is a lot of people think altcoins are going to make this catastrophic new low. That could happen in the fall. But I'm starting to ask a question, what if that's not what happens? What if Web3 on, on a move down in stocks actually finds a bid? The way Bitcoin did. Because stocks are just so ridiculous. Like I hate stocks so much that I'm forced to start liking Bitcoin because if legacy needs liquidity from crypto, they're in trouble, right? They're in trouble. And either it, that's going to be reflected in prices with that stuff going down, or it's going to be reflected with crypto going up. Reality will show up eventually. It's just a question of, are you long or short the right thing? Now, SockGen, a French bank becomes the first fully licensed crypto provider in France. The Euro is not working for France. If it was, they wouldn't be burning the country down. Yes, I know they're prone to riots, but everyone in Europe having Germany's currency doesn't always work out. 
So it would make sense that a French bank embraces crypto. Okay, here's RFK, right? Wants to use 1% of T-bills issued. Uh, my Twitter is now filled. Uh, it's like a, a YouTube channel in a way, right? So my Twitter has got my co-host, Toby. And five hours before the RFK announcement, we did some work on Bitcoin. Now, I realize that some people... Some people may like this work. Some people may not, but I did come up with the idea that if Toby was a robot, if it was Toby GPT, you'd be hanging on the edge of your seat, you know, retweeting it like a mad person, right? But it's a human being with some unique abilities to discuss issues, right? This is where I came up with the positive altcoin idea from, okay? But when you go back to RFK, Right. When you go back to what he wanted, the big question is, do we want Bitcoin owned by the U.S. government? Like, I, I understand the idea of adding some integrity back to U.S. financial instruments, but does that mean Janet Yellen is going to hoover up Bitcoin or manage Bitcoin positions through BlackRock? I mean, how's Janet going to do that? Like, she's going to have the treasury private keys and a safety deposit box. Uh, who's, who's doing that? Yeah. BlackRock's probably doing that. Okay. So on one hand, this is cool. On the other hand, it's, it's kind of not. I looked at this and I'm like, you know what? It's time to look at altcoins, which is, which is laughable. It, it is laughable. Okay. Mine rest is digging Toby. Absolutely. Um, you know, my producer, uh, welcomed me to the internet. I, I finally got on, uh, mid journey. Okay. Boris is like better, better late than never on waking up on altcoins. Okay. So wrong again, wants to know how, how the temporary sentiment change has affected how I'm looking at total three, which is an excellent question. Okay. So we'll interrupt the news and sprinkle in a little live TA. Okay, so this is total three. And I don't know, for whatever reason lately, it just got on a kick of doing three-day charts, right? Or actually, in this case, let's keep it consistent. I think I was doing something weekly. Now, I think the consensus that I was operating under was that total three was going to come down in here. That there was going to be a new low for this move. Now, with XRP, I'm just asking myself, I'm like, okay, well, everyone wants to buy altcoins lower. I want to buy altcoins lower. But is that the problem? Now, yes, look, I, I don't have any illusions that if there's a major stock market disturbance, speculative assets are going to get killed, but that doesn't make very interesting television, particularly since I've been going about that for a while. What happens if this is what is going on in total three? Like, even if there is a new low, like what, what if this is some kind of base? And this is the bigger the base, the higher in the space. Because I'm just telling you right now, folks, I mean, you know, I, I'm going to blow the PowerPoint by talking about it early. No, actually, I'm not. All right. When I look at total three and I look at this, I'm like, you know what? I can't hate this. There are a lot of things that are going to get hurt. But how can I look at NVIDIA and Tesla and say, you know what? These things are priced properly and this should make a new low. I can't. I can't say both things. You know, I either say it's all going to hell in a handbasket, which I don't know, that could be the fall. But in the meantime, I'm like, Bitcoin should have gone up and it didn't. And I'm sitting here looking at this going, hmm, is this, is this, is this going to go Harry Potter? Could it go Harry Potter? At, at least that's a lot more interesting TV. Mark is like, hey, DCA and Bitcoin, if you don't have a stash, I fully agree. And I'm also wondering, even though it's friggin' dangerous, if there's any such thing as, as, as DCAing into altcoins, or actually I changed my mind, 
let's DCA into Bitcoin. And with all coins, let's do trades. If you can buy it and not get stopped out, the longer you hold it, the more integrity altcoins have. So if you can buy it and you either don't get stopped out or you make money, you're actually doing a test as to whether or not altcoins could be okay. Okay. NASDAQ halts plans for crypto custody service due to U.S. regulatory conditions. So Uncle Sam is panicking, right? They've got RFK pushing them. They've got the Russians closing off grain corridors and they have Gensler losing in court. So they're just going to pick on whoever they can pick on. You know, NASDAQ is the home of every bloated, ridiculous tech stock out there. So I guess they're an easy target for people to pick on. Easy target. Now, before we go to PowerPoint, the U.S. government's new Ministry of Truth is actually a cybersecurity and infrastructure security agency. Always remember that crypto is freedom, not just Bitcoin. In other words, I'm at the point where after I see some of this stuff, where I'm actually willing to be positive on altcoins, at least to the point where, hey, let's maybe try to do a trade because Bitcoin should have gone up and XRP should have gone up. They should have. Right? Everyone's waiting for Bitcoin to go up and maybe the stuff that goes up is the stuff that nobody owns. Okay. Either that or it's all going down. So let's go to PowerPoint and I'll actually let, I'll give you my opinion and I'll actually let in some ways I can let you decide. You decide. Wrong again says 81 watching 38 likes. Come on, people. Come on. A little help here. You can minimize on the phone and hit the like button. How many times have you ever heard me say that? All right, let's go to PowerPoint. Let's see what's happening here. Not a lot of people tuning in. That's usually a, actually sometimes, I mean, it's not, it's a, it's a good sign that the smart money shows up on quieter days because quieter days are the days to maybe get involved. Okay. So here's the New Yorker noting the commercial real estate problem. So on one hand, it's a problem. On the other hand, it's not being traded. It's not. So reality has to be reflected somehow, some way. Apartment demand is falling out of bed, right? Demand for apartments is finally falling. This could be related to the employment situation. Now, Jerome Powell, is that good enough for him? Yeah, probably because he can just let that trend continue. But Jerome Powell wants all this stuff down, not just apartments and office buildings, but he wants stocks down. Now, as you know, the dollar is broken. I've talked about the dollar moving down, you know, in one, two, three legs because things happen in threes. You know, the dollar trades so badly. I don't understand why Bitcoin is not higher. The government must be sitting on it, right? So if the government is sitting on Bitcoin, the crypto bid may go somewhere else. Okay, now. I just can't stop hating stocks. I saw some guy who I respect on Twitter saying, who cares about crypto when equities are going up like this every day? And I'm like, oh my God, this has got to be a top, right? NVIDIA and AI play, you know, obviously they're making the chips for Apple GPT. There's a 13 and a nine top. You know, they're approaching the blow off top level. They're buying it indiscriminately. Personally, I think people who have to pay student loans back are speculating in the market to try and make the money to make their payments. And that's where this final idiotic bid is coming from, despite these obvious technical signals. I mean, how can total three have no bid and this capture all of the money for the future of technology? Tesla. Okay. You know, I've read sort of conservative commentaries, basically saying electric vehicles are a scam. They're propped up by government subsidies 
and there are going to be issues with the metals to make the parts out of China. Okay. How excited can we seriously get? And we're obviously excited for Twitter, right? Everyone loves Elon, right? Everyone's rooting for him to win the fight. But I mean, you know, no one wanted Tesla at a hundred bucks and everybody wants it up here. Meanwhile, altcoins just get destroyed. I have no idea where the leadership of the equity market is going to come from. And if Powell comes out and talks really tough and commodity prices go up, stocks are going to get wrecked. Now, if stocks don't get wrecked, then somehow, some way, as I've said, reality will be reflected somewhere like Solana, right? If Solana holds above 25, you can make a case for 37. Okay. Bitcoin, new moon is not going anywhere. Matter of fact, this looks kind of like the FTX top, right? Where you sat in a range, you lurched higher and you've got this bearish divergence. I don't think Bitcoin is going any place. It's like stuck. That's the best case scenario. The worst case scenario is that stocks top and everything gets wrecked. Okay. But I, I'm so tired. I'm so tired of being negative on altcoins while watching equities go up. Maybe I'm making an emotional decision. How will I know? Let's look at this chart. Okay. You got ETH. You got a hidden pivot analysis with 1899 as support. So if ETH can hold 1900, it might actually go to 2670. I mean, you know, Bitcoin may do absolutely nothing. So we either got to have a massive correction in equities, right? Or Powell's going to step down off the podium. And if equities really don't go massively lower, I'm raising the possibility that crypto could go massively higher. And if I get stopped out, I don't care because Tesla and Nvidia and S and P are that ridiculous, right? In other words, being wrong is not a good idea on crypto YouTube. I don't care, right? Equities are ridiculous. So either they got to come down or crypto's got to go up. Okay. XRP. All right. This should be a $2. Uh, it does a nine top and it keeps on going. That's okay. XRP on a four hour chart with hidden pivot analysis says if XRP holds 80 cents, it could go to a dollar 13. Now, frankly, XRP can be an orderly uptrend, right? As long as Ripple is not selling it to fund their operations. One of the biggest knocks on Ripple, say inside the institutional community, had nothing to do with XRP functionality and it had nothing to do with the government. It had the fact that Ripple was selling XRP to retail to, I don't know, finance itself. Now, if, if there's no big seller in XRP, then it can easily float to $1.13. And along the way, you'll check to see where these levels are. But I do not understand why XRP is not at $2. I don't. I mean, don't tell me crypto can't moon indiscriminately, particularly when you start opening this up to an American audience, right? And that is the market update. Okay. So let's see who else we got here. Okay. Energy and materials required to make an EV plus you are funding the CCP, right? In other words, electric vehicles are wonderful, right? Right up until the point where people realize, where people realize that it's not, not, the ultimate way to invest in technology, right? Mark says, I'm no BTC maxi, but it will still go up because of name recognition. It's easy to explain. Absolutely. Okay. Try explaining altcoins to a newbie. Most people don't even know what an Oracle is, let alone Chainlink. Okay. So this is a really good point. So I did a guest appearance yesterday on a show and, you know, I respect this person. They're like, you know what? I'm new to crypto. Can you explain what web three is? Now, my explanation was that web three was this all encompassing term for everything from DeFi to people dressed in bunny NFT outfits, handing out QR codes at conferences. So from the useful to the ridiculous, then web three became a dirty word when, you know, altcoins went down 90%.
Okay. And maybe web three is stupid, but when Apple and everybody is trying to create a chat bot that does nothing but search the internet, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, and everyone is doing the same trade. It's wrong. Meanwhile, decentralized AI coins, every time Bitcoin goes down 1%, those AI coins are down 5%. Yes. Bitcoin is explainable. Bitcoin is going up. I don't, I just don't understand why Bitcoin is not up right now. That's all. And I'm wondering where the pressure is going to go. Maybe it's equities lower, right? Maybe Powell comes out and says, cut it out. I think in altcoins, it's worth it to try to buy a dip and see if it holds. Now, do you buy an up green candle? No, you do not. Okay. You buy these things on down days, but I think, it, I think it's time to start at least acknowledging web three because web two has gotten so overpriced. I'm actually willing to be long. So JP is holding on to his Tesla. Okay. Um, Right. AGIX is not going up. So you are making a lot more money in Tesla than in AGIX. I get it. Right. So much money is being made over there. Now let's talk briefly about that. So obviously this has been a winning proposition and obviously you made more money in Tesla and I get that. Right. So the trade that is making money is the stock market, which, you know, led that person to believe who cares about crypto if stocks go up every day. And, you know, if Powell comes out and he's kind of relaxed, uh, I'm sure they'll have a party over there. Now, what I'm looking for is some sort of reversal where somebody goes, you know what, this whole stock market thing is overdone and I'm going to take profits sort of in the same way that people came into Bitcoin at the end of last quarter. In other words, I'm wondering if the end of the tightening cycle has finally been priced in, in stocks. And I know that this is, you know, people made more money elsewhere, but I can't give up on the decentralized universe, right? I get it. Okay. People acknowledging the dollar call, you know, it's, it's really funny that I, I keep seeing such and such hedge funds, such and such bank giving up on the long dollar idea. I, I, I mean, I, I never even understood how the dollar could be a long idea. I guess you do higher interest rates, higher dollar maybe. Now, let's just talk about one thing as it relates to equities and Bitcoin. Okay, I'm just going to put something on your radar. Okay, this is the Goldman Sachs Commodity Index. Okay, it's heavily weighted towards oil. This is the three-day chart. Okay, as you hear from crypto YouTubers, this is bull div. I kind of like how they do this, right? Things go, you know, the market goes down, it makes lower lows, but the stochastic or the RSI makes higher highs. This leads to massively higher grain, oil, and metal prices, possibly oil. And if you look at the CRB index, which is weighted more towards grains and metals, I just can't believe that's not a bull fag and a breakout. You could have very, very high commodity prices. The Russians have shut off the wheat corridor. Wheat is now up 8% today. Grains are moving like altcoins. So this is what wheat looks like on a three-day chart. This is what wheat looks like on an 89-minute chart. Okay. It's like, you know, this is like Harry Potter. Now, here's how, here's what matters for crypto because this matters. If metals and grains go up, that's Ethereum positive. Okay, because that's going to slow down the economy, slow down the Fed, right? Higher commodity prices equal lower dollar. Okay, so in Ethereum, based on the math that I did a long time ago with an economist, the ultimate formula for Ethereum is weak dollar, strong grains, 
strong gold and silver. If that's how commodities go up, that is Nirvana. That's Ethereum 10 K. Now, if the mood is led by oil, which is this index, like the, the Goldman Sachs index. Okay. Ironically, that's not as good for Bitcoin historically. It's interesting that when oil goes up, Bitcoin does not do as well. Now that's pretty interesting if you ask me, right? So I was like, should I go on the stream and be like, you know what? I know it's easy to be in love with Bitcoin and I know Bitcoin is going up, but should we be looking at ETH, particularly if the stock market doesn't go down on or before the Fed? It should probably go down after. I think we should be asking ourselves, let's come up with a new plan. It's like, hey, if the stock market doesn't go down after the Fed, what are they going to come after? They're either going to sell the overvalued sludge or they're going to come after crypto. They're going to come after crypto. Okay. Uh, FD White is here. Carlos says, since all BlackRock ETF might be just a publicity stunt, what do you think would be the real catalyst for the next bull run? Okay. Well, the real catalyst for the next bull run is right here. And I'm going to the three month chart of the dollar index. Okay. And I'm going to take out all this stuff here. And I'm just going to remind everybody of one simple thing. All right. Back in 1985, there was something called the Plaza Accord. The Plaza Accord was an agreement between major Western economies that the dollar was too strong, right? That the dollar just needed to go down in price for to sort of help the economics of those times. And the governments came out and said, you know what? The foreign exchange market, they gave them license to hit the dollar. And the dollar index went from 154 to 84. It dropped 50% over the course of, I don't know, say a couple quarters. Now, in this particular case, you know, the US government probably would be embarrassed if the dollar did something like that. But that's probably what's going to happen. Right. The catalyst for the next bull run is the tokenization of assets, the need for different forms of money, and the idea that you do not want the World Wide Web, artificial intelligence, and banking controlled by centralized entities. Right. 2020 was about money printing. Okay. Excess. Excess brings in innovation, teaches people lessons. The catalyst for the next form, the catalyst for the next bull run is we need a different form of money. We need a different internet. I mean, I know these articles, they come from obscure places, but you know, these things like the ministry of truth, they actually exist in the United States. They, they these is exist. This happens now. Everyone's making money in Tesla. I get it. But what happens when people change their thinking? In other words, why watch a YouTube show, right? A YouTube show could tell you what's happening now or a YouTube show hopefully tells you what's going to be happening later. Now the Bitcoin ETF, I don't know. I think everybody's in, everybody's all wound up about the Bitcoin ETF. Okay. Because it's just a way for them to get more control. Like if the SEC can't litigate crypto out of business, they want to get the crypto in the hands of somebody that they do have a lot of control over because both the SEC and the Fed have this layer of people inside banks like BlackRock or Goldman Sachs. They have their compliance departments. You think it's hard dealing with the government? You do not want to cross compliance because they are so afraid of the government. They will come down on you hard. So it's almost like they doubled the size of their enforcement army when people like BlackRock and big entities and legacy have control over crypto. So don't think that the Bitcoin spot ETF, I mean, yes, that's good. Okay. But there's only 15% of Bitcoin supply left on exchanges. So 
if institutions want all this Bitcoin, what's the catch? Either it's government control or they know there's going to be a currency crisis, which means a precipitously lower dollar. It doesn't have to go to zero. It doesn't mean a hundred dollars for a loaf of bread. It just means the dollar has to go down and down and down and down. And especially in an election year, it's going to get people's attention. It's going to get people's attention and people. Yeah. They may not understand, right? What Bitcoin is, but my co-host Toby doesn't necessarily know the difference between say Solana and near. But when I told her that, you know, Solana is talking about developing a smartphone and I told her Cardano has like an altruistic mission vision to get into healthcare. She goes, Oh, I understand that. And then she did her work and then Solana went from 15 to 25. So, you know, Toby's call on the market has been hot, hot, hot. You can actually book and talk to Toby personally. Okay. Through unhinged crypto. Okay. I'll, I'll bring that up in a minute after I fulfill my promise for near. So there's a 13 top on the near daily chart in a sideways market. Interesting. It's not going lower. Okay. What's been happening in near, uh, nothing. And maybe that's a good thing because the bigger, the base, the higher into space. I just happened with Bitcoin cash, right? You know, people discovering that, you know, the guy that's in charge of Bitcoin cash has a huge number of patents, you know, may be able to innovate on Bitcoin, whatever. I mean, are, are, are we really thinking that near is not going to come back that the, the money can't flow into technology? I mean, if you want to look at the near chart, you have to turn around and look at Tesla and maybe not pick on Tesla. Maybe it's Nvidia or maybe it's the entire stock market, right? This is the future of tech. Okay. This is the future of tech. Driftless is like, look at wheat on a monthly chart. You know, who's looking at wheat on a monthly chart? Vladimir Putin. You know, it, it, it would be kind of weird. It would be kind of weird if food took off. And then the Iranians pushed with oil. A lot of people are like, oh, the BRICS industry, the BRICS countries are a threat because they're coming up with a gold backed currency. No, bro. The BRICS countries are a threat or like the Iranians are not in there, but you know, other foreign powers are a threat because our rate hike cycle and lower demand for oil out of China puts certain countries like the Iranians potentially in a desperate situation. And the Russians have to figure out how to push back somehow. So they're pushing back by shutting off wheat because they want the fed to continue to tighten and try to break our markets. Cause you're probably wondering like, dude, why are we looking at wheat on a crypto thing? Well, we're looking at wheat because higher commodity prices, you know, they can bring down equities. They can point people towards web three. Now, again, if everything gets wasted, Altcoins don't survive, but I'm tired of being bearish. Tired of being bearish. Okay. I'm just done with it. Let me go to my Twitter just quick. Okay. Unhinged crypto. Okay. This would be me and my co-host Toby. So you've heard of artificial intelligence. We're doing something similar. It's just, we're doing it with people. Okay. So it has its own YouTube channel. Okay. And you know, if you want to talk to Toby about markets, altcoins or whatever, there's a Calendly link there. Actually the first person came in today. Uh, for anybody who remembers the token metrics days, this is crypto therapy, literally it's crypto therapy. So Toby has a unique set of skills that you will not find anywhere else in crypto. 
Okay, let's sum this show up. Bitcoin is going to lead the next revolution, but Bitcoin and XRP should be a lot higher. They should be. Now, they're not higher for one of two reasons. The stock market is going to come crashing down and everyone is scared leading into the Fed. Not an unreasonable idea. Or, or Web3 is going to wake up because no one owns Web3. No one. And no one thinks all coins are any good. Now, could all coins get wrecked later? Yes. How, how will you, how will you know? Well, if you can buy a dip or do a trade, not just buy a big dip, but if you can even do a trade like ETH around 1800, 1900, if you can grab ETH at 1900 and not get stopped out for days and actually make money, you're like, Hey, maybe there's something to this idea that, you know, Altcoins may be a surprise because, you know, you have Harry Potter, Obama going up and it gets boring to always say, well, this crypto market always Fs itself by going into a highly speculative mode before it gets wrecked. I've said that before. I got a better idea. Let's get out of web two and let's get into web three. So language trainer, Bubba, Right, Driftless Crypto, Baby Whale, Mark. I wish you well. We'll see you on Friday.